Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you weren't quite sure whether God was trying to teach you something or if He was punishing you? Have you ever been brought to your knees and prayed, Lord, help me to trust you? Even though I really don't understand this situation, Father, help me to have faith in you. Even if I don't understand my present circumstances, well, the Word of God says in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. You see, trusting in the Lord with all your heart. It means trusting when you don't understand. Trusting in the Lord with all your heart means trusting in Him even when it's painful to do so. Trusting in the Lord with all your heart, it means that you may not have answers to all the questions that you have. You may have no answers to all the questions of life, but you will still have faith that God can and God will make a way. One thing that I have found that cripples our faith as believers is the tendency to want to understand everything we're humans, humans trying to understand the workings of an almighty, heavenly, all-knowing God. But saints, we honestly need to get to a stage where we pray that God would help us and teach us not to lean on our own understanding because our understanding is limited and our understanding is flawed. So even without the full plan and all the details, I want you to know that it's God who orchestrates all of the challenges in your life. And he does it so that each test, each mountain, each Goliath may serve a purpose in strengthening your character or solidifying your faith. I want you to know that it's God who orders our steps through both the good and the tough situations. So rather than always praying for answers, why don't you try praying that the will of the Lord would be accomplished in your life? God is faithful, and He's faithful regardless of my present circumstances. God is faithful regardless of your present circumstances. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. This means that if God sends a storm my way, it's for my good. If He sends a blessing my way, it is for my good. And even if He allows Pharaoh and his army to chase after me, I understand that it's for my good. I truly believe that when the Bible says all things work together for good to those who love God, it means that I may have to embrace tough, or difficult circumstances sometimes. But joy is around the corner. If God has taken me through a test in order for me to find out that He can make a way where there seems to be no way, then may His will be done. Should God choose to send enemies to surround me just so that I can see Him prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy, then may His will be done. With each set of circumstances, the Lord sends our way. I pray that the purpose He has set out to achieve through us, and for us, will be accomplished. Now, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my Redeemer and the Good Shepherd, we come before you today with humble hearts and our faith lifted up. May your will be done in our lives, Lord, if it's your will that we should endure a particular storm, then may your will be done. Teach us to humble ourselves in recognition of the fact all that matters is you. It's your will that matters and not ours. Your name is set high and it's above all other names. Father, thank you for your amazing and your endless love. I praise your holy name today and I acknowledge that you alone are God. Yours is the power and the glory and the honor. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful 
to equip me with everything that I need. You're faithful to have given me the resources that I need so that I can walk with boldness and authority in this life. Your wisdom is unparalleled and your power is unmatched. You are a God who provides us with all that we need, actually with more than we need, whether it's healing, restoration, protection, or peace. All we have to do is look to you, Lord Jesus. I pray for every person under the sound of my voice. For the one who seeks healing today, amen.